Hello YouTube, this is U140550 or Alfonso. Um here. Or Alfonso, because this is gonna be given to actual people um that are invited to my birthday party celebration type thing um in Northern California. Only specific people. So other people would not be invited, of course. But I just wanted to make this quick video mostly for those people and this will be public on my YouTube channel. You, can, you guys can just enjoy it just for a fun little video. Especially since some of the people that might be watching this are pretty much far far away. Um, anywho, nonetheless, sorry I am cleaning these really quickly. But we are going to teach, or I'm going to teach, different methods or ways to, well not really teach, but show you my methods or my ways of how I hold chopsticks because, quite frankly, some people cannot use chopsticks, don't know how to use chopsticks. And my restaurant, or the thing that I'm going to be eating with them, the people that are invited, that are able to make it, is we're going to go to a hot pot restaurant. Problem is, a lot of them don't know how to hold chopsticks. So this is just a general chopstick demonstration. There is many different versions you can choose. So let me get this set up again. This is one. Oh gosh darn it, wait. I don't like that. Please ignore any background noise. I'm just trying to clean this up a little bit. Right. Sorry, I had to do that. So, there's different ways to hold chopsticks. I have shown different types of videos that I will probably leave at the bottom of this if you want to know traditional ways to hold chopsticks. But here's one of the traditional ways. One finger is... Uh, what do you call it? One finger holds the chopstick balanced somewhat on that finger, and then this one holds the second chopstick. Oh gosh, darn it. Like this. And sometimes if your fingers are like this, you can kind of keep it stable. Some will call this semi improper, but it's somewhat proper. But this is like the general one. Good example to show real quickly is this. If we can <clears throat> give me a second. I don't use the traditional way all the time. That's really what I'm trying to like rem remember. Anywho, That's one way. Grab it like this. Sorry. Grab it like this, which you cannot see, but you've got two fingers that grip the top. You've got the crevice between the thumb and the index finger holding it. This is generally how I hold my chopsticks sometimes. There's also some people that will hold chopsticks like this. Similar but a little bit more traditional-ish. And then, excuse me, this is what I tend to do when I'm still learning or when I'm too tired um, on my fingers and wrist and sometimes my arms to do it the other ways. 
I put my middle finger in between these two. I take the two thumbs, I mean the thumb, two thumbs, the thumb and the index finger and I put it on top of here, or, or should I say, holding this chopstick. And along with that, I still have the same configuration I had earlier. But because this is in the middle, it helps it to stabilize it better. And if you know how to do it right, you can start with that. It opens and closes a little bit, but not much. But anyways, those are a few different ways to hold chopsticks. Um, I forget the other traditional way. There's another traditional way where you can kind of just do this. Holding the chopstick and then doing this. And it literally makes your chopstick go... Kind of like this, if I can do it right. With more movability. Which is actually somewhat of what I already did earlier, but I forgot to show that you can also put your third finger there to stabilize it even more. That's the last one that I can show you. So, finger like that. Then the two fingers there, along with one extra one right here. And then having it lay flat or somewhat flat and leveled on the crevice of your finger. And then, of course, having this to block it from going like an X, this to keep it so that the bridge is good. So to anybody that was invited, this is your guys' thing that I told you I would be making. And in fact, I'm kind of hungry right now, so I just randomly wanted to show you. I got some food from L&L, &L, and I love eating chopsticks with L&L &L food. Anyways, I hope you guys will be able to make it, the people that are invited. Um, and to anybody on YouTube that, that would be watching this, like I said, this is just a video for those people. And you guys can just enjoy it just for the fact that there's a tutorial part. I'll see you guys in the next video, when I ha finally am able to make a video. Bye!